At first glance, it seems to be a sports car, but a closer look reveals an air cushion in the lower part. Arosa is a unique combination of a sports car and an amphibious vehicle. Its maritime features include side decks and powerful air intakes. The open cabin definitely resembles a car, and the entire complex is made of carbon fiber, reflecting the style of modern vehicles. Arosa is powered by three independent electric motors, with a total power output of 88 kilowatts. The motors can be controlled, allowing for precise traction adjustment and acceleration. Without recharging, Arosa can travel up to 72 kilometers. Up to three passengers can get an unforgettable experience of driving a sports car on water and on land at the same time. They can bring various equipment, which can be stored in the cabin or fixed on the side decks. The main thing is that the total weight should not exceed the maximum payload of 226 kilograms. This huge ship, which looks like a clumsy truck, is an auxiliary vessel. The number 200 in the AHTS 200 reflects its main feature, a pulling force of up to 200 tons. This pulling force is necessary for offshore towing and supply work in marine oil and gas operations. The anchor handling tug supply vessel is also capable of setting and retrieving heavy anchors and ropes from depths of more than 3,000 meters. Interestingly, this ship was designed to be as environmentally friendly, economical, and safe as possible. This is demonstrated by the installation of electrical driven winches on board, despite the dominant demand for low-pressure hydraulics. Thanks to innovative design solutions, fuel consumption, noise levels and vibrations have been reduced. The ship can expand its functionalities as well. In addition to towing and cargo delivery, it can accommodate water and construction cranes, as well as complex diving systems. The ship can accommodate up to 45 people at a time, providing them with all the necessary amenities for living in maritime conditions. The slightly pathetic name icon for its vessel was not chosen by BMW by chance. The design of the boat represents minimalist elegance that provides passengers with a kind of connection to nature. This is achieved through a structure that transforms the boat into a luxurious moving observation platform. The boat has no walls in the conventional sense. Instead, there are large windows everywhere, allowing for detailed views of the surrounding water. The roof is also made of glass, enabling passengers to look at the sky without leaving their 360-degree rotating seats seamlessly integrated into the boat. Additionally, this watercraft is fully environmentally friendly. The sleek flat body houses a powerful electric propulsion system powered by six BMW high-voltage batteries. Once the vessel reaches its maximum speed of 55 km per hour, it rises on hydrofoils. This reduces energy consumption and allows it to travel distances of up to 92 km without additional charging. Nowadays, fully electric boats are not only a way to reduce air pollution, but also a fuel-saving option. For example, the Elcat boat. In addition to its energy efficiency, with a 200-watt solar panel and 1-3 to kilowatt electric motor, also has an interesting design. Elcat has an open structure that allows you to enjoy the surrounding views without any obstacles. With a length of 4.5 meters and a width of 2.5 meters, it can accommodate several people, and if desired, you can even sit on the roof to sunbathe. Overall, the compact size and lightweight of 120 kilograms allow the boat to reach speeds of only 9.6 km per hour. This suggests that the Elcat is more of a pleasure boat for relaxing and having fun than an efficient means of transportation. What could be better than cruising on the water and enjoying the surrounding views? Only one thing can be better, looking into the water while doing so. And the boat called Looker allows you to combine these two activities perfectly. There are several different models of boats, but all of them have one thing in common, a viewing window. While in motion, the window offers a view of the splashing water, but when the boat stops, it unveils the breathtaking beauty of the underwater world. It is worth saying that creating such a viewing window was a real challenge for the creators. It was necessary to make the window in such a way that it could withstand the same loads as the hull, without any scratches and cracks, and of course, without letting water pass through. As a result, the panoramic window was made of modified material, which is used to strengthen the cabins of supersonic aircraft. Moreover, 22 people on the Looker 320 can enjoy the underwater view through the panoramic window. And on the most advanced model, Looker 440 GB, it can accommodate up to 40 people. These models also differ in their technical characteristics. For example, the younger version has a 250 horsepower motor, and the weight of the boat is 2.5 tons. In the senior version, one of the engine options can be a 350 horsepower unit, and the weight of the boat is about 5 tons, which is two times more than the younger version. Both boats are made of aluminum and have a design that somewhat resembles an orca. The designer who worked on the exterior of the boat admitted that he was really inspired by this marine giant. The Race for Water vessel is an example of people's commitment to transitioning to environmentally friendly water transportation. 
At first glance, its remarkable feature stands out. The embodiment of environmental care, solar panels. Almost the entire 31-meter surface of the vessel is covered with solar panels, with a combined power reaching 93 kilowatts and an efficiency rate of 22%. These panels cover an area of 537 square meters and can be deployed to further expand the coverage. Additionally, the ship carries 8.5 tons of lithium-ion batteries, providing more than enough power for all the necessary systems on board, including electric motors, rotating propellers on board equipment, and battery charging during periods of limited sunlight. The average speed of the vessel is 15 km per hour, with a maximum speed of 25 km per hour. It became the first solar-powered transport vehicle on batteries to complete a circumnavigation voyage, covering 60,000 km in 584 days. Nevertheless, the Race for Water vessel currently serves as an ambassador for the foundation of the same name, conducting expeditions to preserve the world's oceans and combat plastic pollution. For this purpose, a mobile laboratory has been placed on board to collect and study the plastic that pollutes the world's oceans. In 2017, the first platypus boat was sold, which can transport passengers both above and below the water. Now everyone has the opportunity to get an interesting experience. The design of the boat doesn't look particularly unusual, but that's not important because the main thing is its functionality. The boat is 7 meters long and 2.5 and meters wide, and with the help of a hydraulic lifting lever, can submerge passengers underwater for 1.5 meters, allowing them to get closer to any object and examine it closer. Interestingly, the platypus not only submerges passengers underwater, but also provides them with breathing tubes for air supply. The lever and air delivery system is powered by batteries that allow for 60 lifting and lowering operations, and providing air to five passengers for up to four hours. As for the speed, it is worth saying that it varies depending on which motors are installed on the boat. For example, it can be equipped with gas motors with 50 horsepower and a maximum speed of 33 km per hour. It is also possible to modify the boat to 80 horsepower, allowing the boat to reach speeds of almost 45 km per hour. There are also options for those who prefer eco-friendliness and economy. Electric motor with a capacity of 10 kilowatts, which certainly will not allow the boat to move quickly, as the maximum speed with it will be only 18 kilometers per hour. It is also worth noting that the previously mentioned speed indicators are achieved only during surface navigation. When the passengers are underwater, the maximum speed will be only 5 kilometers per hour, which is enough for leisurely underwater exploration. The boat is also equipped with other important features, such as LED lights for underwater adventures in the dark, underwater cameras, and a communication system. Write in the comments which of these vehicles you enjoyed the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.